everyone, welcome to Live Chat University. In today's video, I will show you how to add live chat for multiple websites and how to separate chat sessions for different websites as well. There is a lot, so let's get into it. You can add live chat to as many sites as you'd like without any extra charges. All of your websites can be connected to one live chat license where you create groups and routing rules to separate the responsibilities and activities of your sites. It's great for businesses that have various sites since in each group, you can have agents that will be responsible for chatting on a certain site. And you can also change the look of each chat widget to match an individual site, all thanks to groups and routing rules. Setting up live chat for multiple websites consists of a few quick steps. First, you need to add the live chat code to your sites if you haven't already, then create groups and configure the routing rules, and lastly, change how the chat widget looks and behaves on specific pages. This way, every time a customer starts a chat on one of your pages, the chat will be redirected to a specific group. Now, let's start by adding the live chat code snippet to your websites. For that, we want to open up the live chat app. We want to go to settings. We want to make sure we're in channels and website. Then we want to click on copy code. Then you want to paste the code snippet to your site's source code before the body tag. So let's go do that. Now, remember to add the code snippet to all the websites where you want to install live chat. If you are using a live chat plugin for a CRMS or an e-commerce platform like WooCommerce, Shopify, or Squarespace, there is no need to add the code manually to your website. It is automatically added when you install the plugin. Now let's get to creating groups for each of your sites. In each group, you can add the agents responsible for chatting on a given site. So in our live chat app, we want to go to Teams. We want to find the Groups tab. And we want to click on New Group. We want to choose a name for the group and we want to add our members. Then click create. And that's it. Our group is created. So repeat the steps above to create groups for each of your websites. Now, if you'd like to learn a bit more about groups, I'll leave a link to an article in the description. Once you've created a group for each website, you might want to route chats coming from certain sites or pages to a specific group. This way, your agents will immediately know where the chat is coming from as well. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure the routing rules based on customers who visit a domain. So for that, we want to go to settings. We want to find chat settings and we want to click on routing rules. We want to click on add new rule. To set up rules for whole domains, you want to delete the first condition by clicking on the X here. However, if you are using the URL rules, I'll leave a link in the description with the instructions. Then we want to click on add condition. And from the drop down menu, we want to click on customer visits domain. We want to input the domain address without HTTPS or HTTP. Now here, route to group, from this drop down menu, we want to pick the group which should receive these chats. So click on save changes, give it a name, click save, and that's it. Now all chats started on those websites will be routed to the corresponding groups. Please repeat all of the steps that I've just shown you by creating groups and routing rules for all the websites that you want to connect live chat to. Then all chats started on those websites will be routed to the corresponding groups. Now, if you want to learn more about routing rules, I'll leave a link in the description for you. After you've created groups and assigned them to sites via routing rules, you can edit settings for each group so that the chat widget looks and behaves in a way that matches your website's design. Let me tell you which settings can be edited for a group. So first of all, we have customization, changing the look and feel of the chat widget on both desktop and mobile versions of your site. Then we have language. So setting the language and personalizing the chat widget messages, um, pre-chat survey, 
post chat survey, queued visitor, so personalizing queued visitor messages, campaigns, canned responses, tags, email, forwarding your support email to live chat, uh, email notifications, setting automated emails to visitors. Now, I want us to dive into changing the customization settings for a group. For that, we want to go to settings, website widget, and customization. Then we want to select the group that we want to customize the chat widget for. So we're gonna choose new site Clementine. And you can either customize your chat widget by using the live editor, which lets you edit the chat widget directly on your site, or by customizing it directly in the live chat app. Now, to better match the look and feel of your website, I recommend using the live editor. So for that, we want to input our domain address here. Once again, without HTTPS or HTTP. And click go. Right, so at the top, we can see that we are customizing for our chosen group. Now, you can play around with everything here. So change the light mode to the dark mode, um, the colors, and the layout. When you're finished, all you want to do is click save. And that's it. All of the changes that you have made here will only be reflected on the website to which the group is assigned to based on the routing rules. If the changes are not reflected on your site immediately, this is due to the previous chat session caches on your web browser. Clear the cache of your web browser or visit your website in incognito mode to see the changes right away. When you're using live chat on multiple websites, you might want to offer a separate chat option for each of those websites. For example, if you run several e-commerce sites selling different products, you'll want to offer a different chatting experience on each of those sites. Let me explain what I mean by that. So by default, when a customer starts a chat on one of your sites and opens your other site, the same chat session will be loaded. The chat session is not a seamless experience as they navigate your site. To change that behavior and separate chat sessions between different sites or pages, add the following line of code to your live chat tracking code under your license number window.underline live chat dot chat etc etc after you add this piece of code a customer who visits several of your websites will be able to start several separate chats instead of getting the same chat window with their previous conversation on each site here's an example of what the live chat tracking code looks like when you add the above line of code now i'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can find this code just please remember to replace the license number with your license number, which you can actually find in settings, channels, and website. So what you wanna do is copy this code into a text edit, paste it, select your code, and replace it here. Then simply copy this code and paste it before the body tag. Also, please make sure to make all of these changes to each website where you have the live chat code installed. Right, now you know how to set up live chat for multiple sites. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments or go to livechat.com and start a chat with us. Thank you for watching and see you soon.